There are two proper ways how to display loading inside of your Next.js application while you are fetching the data. Here we are getting these products from some API and we want to display a loading message or some loading skeleton before actually rendering these products. First proper way to do this would be to create a loading file inside of our app directory here. So for this page we are creating a new loading .tsx and there we are going to export default function loading and just return for now loading message. And now if we go to our products here and we refresh, we can see that here we are getting our loading message. And this is really a great way to show users what can they expect on our screen when they come for the first time to our page. So now if we here, for example, put some skeleton, I created this one before and we refresh, we also have to put inside of our server here. I'm going to put some quick, let's say three seconds of await time so we can actually see our loading state. And now here, if we clear our cache and load, we can see that we are getting this loading skeleton. It's maybe not visible in dark mode. I'll switch to light. And here we can see our loading state and users exactly know what are they going to see. And it's much better than just having a blank screen. And important thing to know about this loading file is that it is going to wait for all the fetch calls to be finished in our case that's here in our products list, the get products. So only when this one is finished and awaited, then we are going to get our rendered page. So that's why in our example here where we have only one API endpoint, it's not practical to always display skeleton for an entire page when we can do it only for our products list here. So that's where we come to our second proper way to load and that's using of suspense. So here we are going to delete our loading file that we created for this entire page because that one is always by default used while we are loading and on our page here for our products list we are going to use suspense by react here it is like this and we are just going to put here we don't have the loading component for now so we can put just some div for loading so we can display it and now here when we again clear our cache and reload we are going to see this loading here only for our products list so we can now create here some nice looking skeletons, same like in the loading file. So I'm going to create products, then list loading.tsx. And here we're going to export default function products list loading. And we're going to use skeleton from ShadCN. And here we can just close this component. So basically we are creating a grid of skeletons that are going to be rendered before our products and here inside of our page we can now put that component as our fallback instead instead of this div so here i'm putting the products list loading and now when we empty our cache and hard reload we are getting our skeletons instead of our products which looks much better because we are keeping here our title, our search input and this number of items per page. The big question is when to use the loading file and when to use the suspense. So here in our example, suspense is really great because we have only one API endpoint. And when we are loading, we are just waiting for that call to be finished in order to display something. But for example, here on ShedCN charts, if this was some kind of dashboard and here we have one, two and three API endpoints, then we would definitely use the loading file because loading file is waiting for all data to be fetched. And here, if we would use suspense, then we would maybe have first this one displayed because this API endpoint is finished 
first, then maybe this one, and then this one. So it's much better to wait for everything in case you have a bunch of API calls. And in this case, suspense is really great, or maybe like one, two API calls. But for something big like dashboard, loading file is always better. You have this code in a public GitHub repository, it's in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. I'm always answering. And for more content like this, join the horde, subscribe.